They are small insects with a huge impact on agriculture. Scientists say that about 30% of the fruits and vegetables in the human diet depend on bee pollination. In the U.S. alone, that value is worth more than $9 billion. But in recent years, a condition called colony collapse disorder has been decimating honeybee populations around the world. Oren Johnson is a second generation commercial beekeeper. My father would be upset if he lost 5% of his hives in a year. Today, 30 to 50% is normal. It's crazy. It's, just, it's, it's almost mind boggling that we can stay in business year after year, losing that many over the year. This field seminar in Central California is one of the efforts to help find a solution. Scientists and beekeepers here examine best practices to address everything from pests to pesticides in a region that depends on bees pollinating almond trees. We have a $3.7 billion economy here in Stanislaus County and upwards of probably $1.5 billion of that is pollinated by bees. And so it's very important that these bees remain healthy. Honeybee pollination is critical for dozens of crops in many parts of the country. Some initial research on colony collapse focused on the varroa mite, a parasite that literally sucks the life out of individual bees. Some efforts have been successful in controlling mite infestations, but scientists say other factors are also a reality. Nutrition, genetics, pests, parasites, disease, um, accessibility to water, all of those now are, are starting to play a part in the thinking that these are contributors to the um, decline in bee populations as well as pesticides. Part of the fight to improve conditions involves programs that encourage the growth of wildflowers and other plant species that attract and support native pollinators, including honeybees. In North Carolina, one agriculture research and development company has opened its own bee care center to examine bee health and encourage more discussion and study about steps by the industry and the public. We're working with nonprofit organizations like Project APASIM and planting pollinator gardens across North America. For our research, we're looking into things like the nutrition and habitat in addition to exotic pests that can affect the bees. It's a thousand paper cuts the bee industry, the bees face. The mites, pesticides, herbicides, fungicides, lack of forage, uh, drought, it just goes on and on and on and it puts so much stress on your hives. Researchers say they are hopeful that multiple approaches will pay off in finding a solution to colony collapse disorder. In the meantime, raising public awareness about native pollinators can deliver long-term benefits to our environment and the bees.